Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are in St. Augustine. It is my birthday weekend vlog. We're here with Chris back there. Hi guys. And the dogs are actually here. Ollie, where are you at? There's Ollie there's right Ollie here. right He's there. Resting already. Yes. And Milo is already eating stuff. Milo, what are you doing? Milo. My my can you say you're sorry? My, can you sit? Can you sit? Milo sit. Sit. Go boy. Say you're sorry right here. Can you at least say hi to the camera? Hi guys. Okay, Milo. Anyway, Milo always gets into trouble. So as I was saying, birthday vlog, St. Augustine. So I'm actually gonna vlog a little bit of St. Augustine. It's our first time here. We're staying in a hotel called Casa Monica, which is obviously my name. And we're just gonna explore it. It's, we've literally never been here before. We don't know much about it other than that it is the oldest city in the US. Flagler College is here. And I think that that's all we know about St. Augustine. First impression? What's the first impression? It looks like Harry Potter world or something. Oh, yeah, well, yes, uh, Flagler you guys, College. You guys will see, you guys will Flagler see. Flagler College definitely looks like it. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, we're just gonna be exploring a little bit, getting to know this place. It's apparently super pet friendly, that's why we brought Ollie and Milo. It was supposed to be a four and a half hour drive, turned into almost a seven hour drive. So much traffic, there was so much rain, so people just completely forget how to drive. So anyway, the four of us are gonna be exploring St. Augustine and seeing how pet friendly it truly is. We're gonna to try to go to San Sebastian Winery, which apparently is a very pet friendly winery, to try some wine, take the dogs with us, and explore the rest. I literally, I think that that's the only thing that we actually have planned. Everything else, we're just gonna wing it and see how that goes. We're gonna be here for pretty much like two days. It's gonna be a f one full day and then two half days. It's pretty much what we have. So anyway, little room tour. They gave us some champagne when we got here. So Chris already drank his, I'm still working on mine. They have like a little, I suppose you could say a mini bar station. Desk area, our view has the pool, which actually looks so nice, but it is a little bit chilly. So definitely don't want to go in the pool. Then the nightstand, bed, was, some sort of note. It was prepared by, it looks like Tatiana. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Tatiana. Then another nightstand, obviously. Milo here again. Mirror over here. Milo, you're gonna give us a tour? Okay, bye. Here's the bathroom. I love that everything is literally like old decor, so it looks so nice. So bathroom here, obviously some bathroom stuff. Yay, super exciting bathroom. Anyway, that is the bedroom for all of you being good boy. That is the bedroom tour. That is all we have for now. We're gonna try to figure out what we're gonna do for dinner and explore a little bit while it's still semi-light. It is actually gonna get dark pretty soon, I think. So we'll see what we can find for dinner and then tomorrow will be a full day. We are back from dinner. We ended up walking around near the hotel. Actually, there's this super nice old kind of like district type of thing. And it has a bunch of restaurants, shops, everything. However, we did have a hard time finding like an actual pet friendly restaurant. When we were looking in the map, some of them are actually not like exactly near where we are, where we were at that time. But there were a few things, like not that many of them have patios or anything. So they don't always allow the dogs, obviously. But we did end up finding a pizza place, Pizza Alley, Pizza Alley. Pizza Alley. And so, okay, so we had this pizza place. It was actually a really good pizza place. You, well, the vlog can't see you if you're there. No, oh, but I look fabulous. Like, you look fabulous. I look that, fabulous. That's you being fabulous. And unzip, it's a little warm now. Okay, that's, that's not for the vlog. Anyway, um, pizza place. So yeah, we found this pizza place that was pet friendly for sure, because they had like this little outdoor patio seating situation. And so they had pizza. We had a, what was it called? Like a, oh, a caprese salad first and then we had a pizza that we shared 
basically we just ended up doing like a big pizza like half what i wanted which was the greek pizza because i love olives and i was feeling like a olive situation and then chris had one called garbage can it was can. yeah it was a garbage can it was a uh, like a supreme pizza you were saying yeah it's a supreme pizza it just had like olives and pepperoni sausage then you had olives onion and peppers and pepperoni for sure yeah a lot it was of it. like an olive it was like a supreme pizza I mean, this thing was way too loaded for what I was expecting, but it was really good. The crust is... It was literally a garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally... But the crust was delicious. I think. The crust was yeah, really good. Yeah, I think good. that's what makes the pizza really good. Yeah. And the sauce they used, too, for, like, the base. I think the sauce was pretty good, too. The tomato, the pizza sauce, yeah. whatever. No, it was, it was a pretty good pizza place. Yeah. So, definitely recommend. It was also affordable, I think. I actually don't even know how much we paid. I think it was Yeah, it was, it was pretty affordable, yeah. Yeah, good place. Then we walked around just back to the hotel. It's a super walkable city. That is one thing. It's, like, super walkable. And we ran into the French macaron place. What is it called? Le macaron. Yeah, that's yeah. the fr French pastries. And so, got some macarons. I got one. This one is actually a birthday cake one, which I thought was very fitting. So definitely gonna try this one it has like confetti or something yeah it has like confetti or something so i'm excited to try that one and then we got some other flavors we got a box of six so excited to have some macarons anyway that is it for night one we got to figure out what we're doing tomorrow we're gonna stop by a coffee place a kookaburra 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 yeah the aussie place so we'll stop by there and explore i guess st augustine on our one full day that we have here so see you tomorrow it is the next day and it is officially my birthday so i'm just getting ready so that we can go out i did a little workout in the hotel room this morning i used two bottles of water as my hand weights because i forgot to bring some high hand weights i normally when we do road trips i travel with my two pound weights just because i mean they're not that heavy and they're small easy to carry and then i do it for my hotel workouts but alamoves released a new bar series and it just started today and i was like this is a sign i need to do it so i'm very excited it's with emily sfera who i mentioned in my updated aloe moves review that i like her bar workouts so i did that but now we're getting ready to head out we're gonna go to kookaburra the australian cafe place and try that i'm wearing a sweater but it is 50 no 61 degrees now so it might not be that cold anymore but i was really worried because i didn't bring a jacket which is very unlike me i always overpack and this time i don't know what happened i'm getting older and i guess changing with age or something so anyway we are going to go grab that oh i had the macarons last night <sighs> they were slightly disappointing milo no uh, there's a dog on the tv and he doesn't like it no leave the duck alone it's, it's aflac milo. milo he's literally going insane Okay, Ollie's just chilling, and then Milo's just being Milo. Anyway, the macarons, as I was saying. We had the macarons yesterday, and the birthday cake one was good. The lemon cream was just okay, but the rest, they didn't really taste like the flavor that they were supposed to taste. So, I don't know. Not 100% pleased with le macaron. I think after having macarons straight in pairs, my expectations of macarons have definitely changed. And now nothing tastes as good as the Parisian macarons, which obviously makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's bright. Okay, the light is not really adjusting very well. My god, it's really bright outside and I look like a freaking ghost. Anyway, gonna go get ready, head out, and breakfast, and then we're gonna figure out what else we're doing. I think we want to go to the winery today, so we're gonna see if we're able to make it to that with the dogs. That's like our only question is like, can they actually do the whole winery tour? We'll see. And other than that, let me try to see what kind of free stuff I can get today for my birthday. I have a Starbucks drink, so I'm gonna try to get my Starbucks today. And I have a list on my phone of all the free stuff that you get for your birthday or like your birthday month. Not all of them are available for the entire month or even like days after. So I have to figure out which ones I need to redeem today. And then, yeah. But my, the one that I always redeem every single year is my free buntlet from Nothing Bun Cakes. If you've never been to Nothing Bun Cakes, you're missing out. Definitely have to do that. Anywho, now I'm just ranting. Let's go.
I came back from a massage and my hair is literally all crazy because I included like a scalp massage and it was awesome. Anyway, it's been a great day. We ended up doing the wine tasting, which was super fun. We tried, gosh, I don't even know how many wines. We tried like, I think it was like six or seven wines. No, I'm just kidding because then we did like an additional one. Honestly, I want to say that we probably drank like nine wines. I mean, obviously they don't like fill the cup totally like to the brim. Well, not that they ever fill it to the brim, but they don't like give you like a normal wine serving like you do at restaurants or anything like that they obviously do less but it was still a lot of wine and so that was fun <laughs> but it was super good honestly really really fun learned a lot about wine stuff the five s's which is that you know you see the wine and then you then you stir it then you smell it then you sip it and savor I think that's those were the five s's so that was pretty fun pretty cool and then we literally ran to lunch and then ran back i mean not quite literally ran but we did walk very fast because i had a massage appointment so where we're staying which is casa monica they're like a spa like a it's called i think like hotel and, sp and resort resort spa something like that anyway they're a hotel and they also have a spa which is called a poseidon spa and oh my god that was the most amazing massage like i'm literally falling asleep because i came back from the massage and i'm like i'm ready for bed so we're actually gonna order room service because i'm like so tired i don't know if it's turning 29 i don't know if what it is if it's just a massage but i am exhausted that massage literally i've had a lot of different massages in my life that was probably one of the best ones so if you are in saint augustine highly recommend the poseidon spa i saw I think her name is Latoya. I think it was Latoya. So highly recommend her, highly recommend the Poseidon Spa. Really, really good. We, for lunch, we ended up going to a place called Harry's. We wanted to try a taco place that we saw when we were walking earlier, but they were actually not pet friendly. And so we couldn't eat there. So we ended up going to Harry's, which was next door. And it was really, really good food. But we literally had to like run out because of the uh, massage reservation. But also earlier on the way back, we, I'm gonna show you what we got. We actually got this wine aerator. So it's the original Airvana luxury one wine aerator. And it has like a battery. And so you just press a button and it pours the wine, but it already like aerates it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So that the wine is already in great, you know, immediate drinking condition. And I got this super cool shirt that says, Alexa, bring me bring me wine. So I think that that's awesome. They also sold it there. That was pretty fun. I think I'm better off just turning the camera because this is a lot of wine. We got quite a bit of wine. You can come over instead of dancing over there. A lot of wine. We literally, I just, yeah, I can't even do this. We got, we got Cabernet Sauvignon, which we tasted that one. Yeah, we got some Pinot Grigio. We have a Vintner's White, which is a premium white wine. And we got a Chardonnay. And then we got this wine that is for sangria. So it's the Vintner's Red and it comes with this little um, kit thing to make sangria. It's Southern Sangria Spice Mix, a blend of orange, lemon, lime, and cinnamon. So you just make the sangria with this wine. When we were walking back, I haven't tried my chocolates, but we saw by this chocolate place, which they also, by the way, did chocolate tours. So you can apparently do a tour of the chocolate facility whatever and then also taste chocolates and they're all in here <laughs> they're dolly you can't have chocolate buddy chocolate is not for you i'm sorry it's so good i know but you can't have it i got this one it's chocolate with an orange and this is really good oh we got milo now my my milo hi buddy i can't give you chocolate no you want to try some? Let's talk with an orange or an orange with chocolate. Anyway, that was good. We are waiting now on dinner. We were going to go eat, but I'm literally, like I said, like I'm just exhausted. So we just ordered room service. The restaurant at the hotel looks really good. It actually is like Spanish. So it has like tapas and stuff, which I love tapas. Ever since we went to Spain, I've been obsessed with tapas. And so just order a bunch of stuff off the menu. I don't think Chris even knows what I ordered, but he's going to be in for a treat. I heard croquetas. I did order croquetas. That's all I need to know. Anyway, waiting on room service because literally I cannot be bothered right now to get up or do anything. I just cannot wait to officially go to bed. I am exhausted. Okay. 
Okay, it is our last day. We are done packing. We're about to check out. Definitely slept in a lot longer than wanted to, but we're gonna go grab some breakfast. I think I wanna sp stop by the Kookaburra again. Do you wanna go? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, so I think we're gonna go there again. It was really, really good. Highly recommend going there. And then there's a couple of places that I wanted to check out before we left. Just apparently we walked past the, the narrowest street in the US and we didn't know. So I was reading about it this morning. So I wanna stop by there again to like, you know, get some photos there or something. And then there was a street that we saw yesterday, but we didn't walk through it. But I was reading about it this morning that it is the oldest street in the US. So I wanna walk through that one as well, get some videos there. And then we might drive to the Fountain of Youth maybe, so maybe we can yeah. become younger, I guess, or stay young forever, whatever that does. Forever young. And so just wiping all these boogies. He gets a lot of eye boogers. So does Milo. My, my, say hi. Okay, bye. Anyway, I'm gonna do that. We literally just have like a couple more hours left. So it was, I wanna say like a one full day, two half days, barely even. Would definitely say it is enough. Maybe extend it like an extra day. So maybe do like at least two full days would probably be better, but it's everything is like so central. Everything's so walkable. So you can do everything pretty quickly and definitely a lot of things pet friendly. I think, I mean, if you come without pets, obviously things are normally a little bit easier, but still pretty, pretty simple though. So like a lot of things are pet friendly. So it worked out really nicely for us and for the dogs, obviously. And that'll be all. So I will see you when we're actually out on the street. Like mineral. It tastes bad. It's We are back home now. The drive back was not as bad as like the drive there. That definitely took us a lot longer because the rain was awful and everything, but the drive back was a lot more smooth. So we made it home. We stopped by the Fountain of Youth before we left. And it was actually, I didn't know there was like this whole park thing, but it was actually super fun. And you could actually drink the water, so that was great. And then it was completely pet friendly, so we were able to walk around with the dogs and just explore and everything. So it was just really nice, like a nice little way of ending the trip and, and the vacation, I guess, the mini, mini vacation that we had. So that was pretty cool. Definitely recommend visiting St. Augustine. It was definitely very different 
very old which is very fitting everything was very historic it was like the narrowest street in the u.s the oldest street in the u.s the oldest house in the u.s the oldest city in the u.s all this kind of stuff but it was really cool just like for the history part of it really good food really good people everybody was so nice friendly everything overall truly recommend it like honestly definitely worth visiting would for sure go again so quite enjoyed it and i guess that's it so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about st augustine or anything like that please leave that in the comment section obviously we can explore absolutely everything we wanted to because we had the dogs and while it is a mostly pet friendly city there were obviously still a lot of things that we missed out on because of because we took them but i mean no regrets i love traveling with ollie and milo so that was great but if you do travel without dogs you will probably be able to explore a lot more than we did and if you do travel with dogs then everything that we visited was pet friendly and you're more than welcome to take your dogs there anyway if you visited and you want to leave any sort of additional tips or anything in the comment section do so as well and if you like this video please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time